pretty hot. That's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if I can't get a couple little strikes out of them. Give the people what they want. Get them. Get them. Oh shit! Hell yeah, son! A little live action! Get that bang stick! Alright y'all, it's Friday night in the glades. Me and some of my guys are out here. We got uh, Mike on a gator hunt, looking to remove a gator. I'm out here with Otto trying to find us a python, maybe two. We got a lot going on, hopefully a successful night. We're gonna start it off with trying to catch a snake and uh, we'll meet up with the boys in a little bit. So, let's go. So we were trying to get a badass cruising sunset shot with the drone for y'all, but my YouTube guy had a little bit of trouble. I got a magnet in here with a rope. You think it's uh you think it's magnetized? Yeah. Okay. Instead of stopping the boat like we should have, we kept it at cruising speed and that drone came right at me, hit my fishing pole that I was gonna use for gators, and went right into the canal, straight to the bottom. Now you're gonna see that thing again. Let's go! Pythons, along with other reptiles, are cold-blooded. And when it starts to get chilly out, they start to really slow down, they get lethargic, they start eating less, moving less, and it makes it a lot harder to find them. These alligators, they don't necessarily slow down because they stay in the water more. This water will hold heat and uh, they stay active and um, gator season is this time of year, so we make, make the best of it. So, before we get out here, We've been seeing, we've been seeing a ton of water moccasins. I mean, like a dozen to thirty in a night. So just be real careful where you're stepping. I actually got these snake-proof little ankle protectors. You might want to put on. Never mind, Sammy's got them. So watch where you step, son. Great. All right. Yeah, I've had, I had Shelby bit, the dog I just sold to Mike, she survived. And then Sammy actually got bit out here maybe like a week or two ago. Oh. Just walking on these islands, taking out clients. Shit ton of moccasins out here lately. I've never seen so many. Literally, we'll see 15 to 30 in a night. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Not every night, but Man, when, we're, when we've been seeing them, they are out in full force. So lately we've been seeing a ton of water moccasins out here. And they're a native snake, but they're highly venomous and very dangerous. Um, the last thing I want is a client or one of my dogs to get bit. So I have to really keep a close eye on the dogs as they work. And we've actually spent some time training them, working with them to stay away from these venomous snakes. All right. Ot hunted this side of the island, all this thick stuff, and he just came back out. So let's get on board and hit the next island. All right, first island down, no success, but that's the usual story for the first island. We're gonna keep pushing on, keep hitting these islands, and hopefully get a snake here soon. A couple bugs out tonight, nothing too serious, but to my Chicago boy, camera guy he's blown away right now these are actually i think a lot of these are white flies and they don't bite but they will get in your eyes your nostrils and they, they they're a pain in the butt look he's eating he's eating the ants dude those are less and less common here in florida because the invasives eat the hell out of them but they are cool as shit Look at what we got here, a blue tail skink. Not a real common find anymore. A lot of these invasive lizards have been eating the hell out of them. And for me, it's always cool to still see them out in the wild. Look at this thing. 
a little swamp eel right here. You see him? Swamp eel. It's too slippery. I couldn't, couldn't even <laughs> attempt to hold it. I was hoping I'd be able to pick it up. That is a native southern toad. A lot of people confuse them with the uh, invasive Bufu cane toads. These guys are a lot more green. They have oval glands here where the uh, cane toads have more triangle shaped glands up closer to their eyes. And then you got, these guys have these little horns here. And their pattern's different. And they only get about this big. And you can see he's not producing any toxin or anything like that like the uh, venomous toxic cane toads do. We'll let this guy go on his way. Usually on the edge of the island, like this. Not always, but usually, it's a damn rat. You better get off of that. Come on. Come on, find them. Let's go. Hey, find them, Aunt. So right now is a little tough for us. A lot of these islands that I was hoping to hit have just grown up this summer and are extra thick, too thick for us to even get around. Um, you know, I could crawl around on these islands, but it just takes so much more time. We cover so much less ground that it kind of becomes counterproductive. So we're out here hitting what islands we can get around on and seeing what we can do. Didn't see many last night either. I'd say the funnest part of these dang python hunts is not even catching the pythons, it's catching these damn iguanas. So I bring people out on these hunts and I treat it as a live capture hunt. Uh, we're not shooting them, we're grabbing alive and getting down to your barbarian roots. The iguana portion of it is challenging. People think it's going to be easy, they think they're just going to grab these iguanas out of the trees and oftentimes I got to show them how it's done. Looks like we got a real pretty orange one back here. It's gonna be pretty hard to get, but we're gonna try. Gonna be a little bit of a team effort. I'm gonna nose the boat up in there, try to knock them out of the tree towards us with this pole, and uh, hopefully put them in the boat so Otto can catch them. Problem is this is a little deep in there. Ready, Ot. That's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. See that pup? All right. Pretty guy. Big, uh, big male. We're going to tape him up. See if we can't go get a couple more. people that come on my python hunts and try on about 10 iguanas and can't catch one. I just want y'all to see 
It can be done. This is two for two, baby. And this guy's pissed off. Look at him trying to bite me. Good old moon lilies. Always know when they start popping up, python hunting's about to get good. All right, uh, let's do it, buddy. You don't see some, you smell something, first of all. He ain't working off of eyesight. He's using his nose. That's a damn Chicagoan thing to say. <laughs> I think he sees something. <laughs> so we're out here hunting these islands. You know, these pythons are extremely camouflaged and they're very hard for us humans to see, but they're next to impossible for these dogs to see. The dogs don't see in color. They basically see in black and white. They're colorblind. And these snakes blend in perfectly and they're invisible to these dogs. But Otto doesn't need his eyes out here on these islands. He's using his nose and he's got a very powerful nose that leads him on a scent trail to what he's looking for. And oftentimes he don't even see the snake. He smells it, knows it's close, and he'll freeze up and let me know it's there. Um, it's very impressive. The spiders are out tonight. <laughs> I've walked into about a thousand of them. Oh, I got something. Things bugging around me. Everything tries to bite you out here. Bite you, poke you, sting you. That's how it goes. Python! Good boy. Good dog. Good dog, Otto. Good dog. Come here. Come here. Good snake. Good freaking snake. Sit. Sit. It's just sitting there. What a beauty, son. Woo. Good dog. Good dog. All right, let me leash him up. Yes, sir. Right there. Don't get too close to him. Push it. Dude, I think it's freaking gorgeous. Good dog. Good boy. Good boy. I could just barely see it behind that grass. He's just laying there waiting for a meal. What a beauty. Holy cow. All right, I'm gonna grab this thing, it's starting to move. I'm gonna pull it out right to here. And, uh, Give us a better look at it. Good size snake too. Come here. See if I can't get a couple little strikes out of them. Give the people what they want. Yes, sir. What a freaking beauty, y'all. That is what we're talking about. Everglades gold right here. Looks like this thing just shed. I mean, they don't get much prettier than that. This thing will make some real pretty leather products. Just about perfect timing too, I can hear. Mike in the airboat working their way here. What a beauty. Good boy. Good dog. Good boys. What a good boy. Yes, sir. Good dog, Otto. Good dog, buddy. Good dog. This thing got the old death lock on me. 
see it double knotting up on me, getting that extra leverage, extra squeeze. If you're not careful, your whole arm will be asleep in minutes, seconds even. I've had it where walking back to the boat, let them do this. I get back to the boat and I can't even move these fingers. You can kind of get yourself in a, a dangerous situation if you're not careful. So, th so they, so they just do that instinctively. They're like, yeah, it was trying to kill me, like some prey. You know, it's a, no one of its defenses there. Look, I'd have found some of its skin it shed. I didn't notice it. Oh, wow. He just found it. While we wait for little Mike to get here, give Otto a little bit of a belly rub. Old boy's earned it. Oh yeah, he's a big old baby. Boys, you got one? do I got something to show y'all? Heck yeah, man. What dog you got with you? Otto. Before we euthanize the snake, I wanted to make sure little Mike's clients got to see it and see what a Florida python's all about. Fellas, how we doing? Good. How's it going, cowboy? Good, good. Just caught this thing, a lot found it. Good job, Otto. Decent sized snake, yeah, right? Nice work, buddy. Perfect timing. Nice work, buddy. This was the first time these guys held a python or a big snake like this, and they could not believe how strong it was. A lot of people don't understand these pythons are basically one solid muscle and they're very powerful because of it. All right, let's put a bullet in this snake's head and go catch a gator. Yeah. Like going to the water park. So tonight we're hunting alligators in traditional way, following state laws for the alligator season on private land. You're not allowed to use a firearm, you're not allowed to bait a hook or anything like that, and it can make getting these gators a lot more challenging. Uh, tonight we're gonna do what we can to either uh, hook onto a gator with a treble hook, fight him to the boat where we'll then eventually euthanize him, or possibly we'll try to run up on one and stick it with a harpoon before it goes under the water. Definitely a, uh, a fun and traditional way to do it. Yeah, he's small, he's, yeah, he's maybe seven foot. Nah, he's smaller than that. Six right at seven. I'd like to get us eight, nine, even 10 foot, keep on moving. So down here where we're hunting in the Everglades, there's just not many big gators. And the longer ones you do find, they're not real fat, they're not real healthy. We have a lot of water quality issues down here. Um, so we're doing our best to find a good gator for the clients, and uh, I think we're going to pick up and move to a different area. I got an eight-footer here. I don't know how big you're trying to get. Figured I'd let you know. I thought you were looking for something a little bigger, but... Okay, yeah, that's why I didn't stay on them. But I wanted you to at least look for them just in case you liked them. Yep, later. Uh, we're gonna turn around. We're just not seeing any gators here. I mean, the ones we're seeing are just small. We're after some a little bit bigger. So uh, we're whipping it around. I'm gonna lead the way, and we're gonna kind of haul ass back towards where we launched and hopefully see a big gator along the way. So let's do it. When we get to the new spot, little Mike notices a decent sized gator that's acting pretty brave. Uh, based on its behavior, we think we're gonna be able to get up to it and possibly get a harpoon in it before it goes under. I think there he is. Hey Blake, ease me up right there. Right here, push me in. I was starting to get pretty worried, but I pulled out the oldest trick in the book and that's the old baby gator call. Where? Oh yeah, hold this, hold that. I quickly told Jeff to get up on the front of my airboat with his harpoon and be ready to stick the first gator we come up on. Did you get him? Hold on, hold on. Stick him. 
Nice job, Jeff. Oh. How'd it feel? It felt good. The buoy out? Here he is, he's getting close. Oh, dude, it's a big one. Jeff, get that bank stick ready right now. Bank stick? Yep, 10, 11. It's a good one. Oh, hold on, hold on, let it go, if it, let it go if it goes. We don't want to stress him out. You don't got another harpoon, do you? Nah, I got a good hand line right here, though. All right, I would maybe try to pull him up where you can see him and try to stick him good with that hand line. Yep. someone give me a light so we can see and Jeff's gonna stick him with the hand line. He's coming, he's up, he's up. He's just about here, dude. Oh, here he is, dude. Beast. Get ready. Oh Auto. my Back God, dude. Oh, he's a big boy. Holy shit. He is a big boy. That line in him. You got him. Come up. Oh, Come dude. Up. Hit him. Yep. <laughs> Oh shit! I don't, I don't, God damn it! Get back! Hell here. yeah, son! Well, live action. Get that bang stick. Yeah, we get that bang stick ready. Auto back right. of the boat. So guys, hang on. Sit down. I got, I got this one. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take both ropes from you. All right, you're gonna get that bang stick and you're gonna come up here. Hold on. Hold. Jeff, as soon as I get him to the top, you know where to hit him. So give me a quick, uh, about about an inch behind his eyes in the center of his head. Oh, he's wrapping himself up. Hold on, hold on, wait, Jeff. Wait, we're good. We got him now. He ain't going nowhere. Wait. So we want to make sure his head's about a half an inch underwater. Oh, All right. Yeah. Woo! Come on, son. Remember, anything you hit with that bank stick, it will go off. I know. Be careful. All right. So we're gonna wait a second. I'm gonna let him down a little bit so his head's under. Ready? You got a light for me? Hold on. Uh, handheld? Yeah. Thank you, buddy. No worry, we got him good, Jeff, no rush. Mm -hmm. All right. See his head? Okay. Wait till it's a second under, hold on. Take your time. Let him tire himself. Let him tire himself out. <clears throat> Come on, son. All right, yeah, Jeff, I'm gonna turn him around and we're gonna nail this joker. That hand line ain't in them that good. Ready? Let me hold on. Dude, that's a big, big gator. Hit him. Nope, nope, hold on. Now, now. Nice shot, Jeff. Hell yeah. Dragon, son. Good stuff. Nice work, buddy. That is awesome man awesome dude. nice Good work job, dude yeah. that was all right let's uh let's see where we got them make sure we don't need to put another one in them yeah boss that's a good one i'll tell you there's no better feeling than being able to get your clients a big gator in a tough situation uh, it was not only a safe hunt, it was a fun hunt. The clients are happy, we're happy, and it was an awesome night. All right, grab that head. Put that head in. Watch, your, watch the hook. Make sure you don't. Uh, nice. Well, y'all, that's what I call a hell of a Friday night in the Everglades. Not only did we have a load of fun, but we cleaned up our state, got rid of some invasive species, help manage the alligator population and showed some folks how we get it done, opened their eyes to possibly a new way of life. And for me, that's what it's all about. Really hope y'all enjoyed the video. We really appreciate you guys watching. And if y'all wanna get down here, come out and do this with me, see what it's all about. Man, I suggest it, you won't regret it. You'll have memories to last you for the rest of your life. Shoot me an email at pythoncowboyhunts at gmail.com. We'll get you all set up, get you down here, show you the time of your life. If you want to inquire about any leather products, custom leather, uh, wallets, bracelets, boots, hey dudes, dog collars. Dog collars are my favorite. Shoot an email to that same email. We'll get you all set up. And uh, man, can't, can't thank you all enough. Really appreciate it, guys. We'll see you at the next one.